Two vertical forces are applied to a beam of the cross section shown. What are the maximum tensile and compressive stresses in portion BC of the beam? This is the second example for the bending stress and parallel axis theorem main video. The links to the other examples and that main video are in the description below. Just like we did during the previous example, we'll start by writing out the expression for the bending stress. To find the moment M, we'll find the reactions at A and D and draw shear and bending moment diagrams. With these, we see that the bending moment is equal to positive 15 newton meters. To find the distance y and the second moment of area i, we'll need the location of the neutral axis. Finding the location of that neutral axis is just finding the centroid's location of the entire cross section. To do this, we'll use the base as our datum or point of reference, split the cross section into simpler geometries, and do what is effectively a weighted average of the distance to the centroids. The distance from the datum to the centroids of the pink rectangles is 30 millimeters and the distance to the centroid of the purple rectangle is 5 millimeters. With this and the area values, we find the neutral axis 25 millimeters from the bottom. With the neutral axis location, we can find the y distance from the neutral axis to the top and to the bottom. Since the internal moment is positive, we know that the top surface of the beam will be under compression, which means that y equal to 35 millimeters will result in a compressive stress. And therefore, y equal to minus 25 millimeters will result in a tensile stress, which is the bottom of the beam, which is clearly under tension. To find the second moment of area i, we will add the second moment of area of each individual rectangle. And since in this case, the centroid of each rectangle is on a parallel axis to the neutral axis, we'll use the parallel axis theorem. Substituting the i and the area for each of the rectangles, we see that we need to find the distance from the neutral axis to each centroid, and with them, we find the value for the second moment of area. Substituting this value in the bending stress equations, we find the two stresses we were looking for. For more examples on bending stress and parallel axis theorem, as well as the other videos of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links found in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.